Okay. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah, it's Cone here. Yeah, the guy from Bleach. In front of the Family Convention Center, and we're gonna check out a bunch of otakus. Yeah, those smelly convention guys who cosplay and everything, you know. Uh, hopefully there'll be a few cute ones, but I doubt it. Hey, but this is LA, so who knows? And this place is strange anyways. So, uh, so let's see who we can meet and what we can do. And, uh, and for all of you in my, in all my fans in YouTube land, hello there, hi. Okay, is camera on? Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm at the floor and there are tons of people. Look at all of these people. Are they all talk over here? Let's find out. Oh my goodness! They chopped off the heads of all of these characters! Oh my goodness! No, they're just pretty hats. Just kidding. But I look at all these hats and why and I'm not up there. Am I not cute enough? Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Yeah. Yeah, I challenge you. I challenge you to a fight. Here now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 He didn't scare me. He scared me nothing. <laughs> Oh man, that is something. I should move these over so people. Did I have this camera? Did you have the camera on without me knowing about it? You know you're an idiot. Hey, I'm no camera guy. Oh yeah, some great camera guy you are. That is awesome work. Thank you. So, can you tell me about these characters? Well, these. This is uh, Eggy, and he's a terrible Luby Monster trainer. This is his Luby Monster, Bento, who's like this dog bee thing, and he's just not interested. So, are, what? So, Luby Monsters are like Digimon or something like that? Exactly. It's like a genre parody Digimon, Pokemon, all of them. Oh, that's, that's really interesting. So, is he obedient, disobedient, what? Reluctantly obedient. Reluctantly obedient. Like me and Rukia. <laughs> yeah, I obey her only because I don't want to die. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, this is heaven. I am so in love with this. Look at all these buttons. You saw a lot of buttons, don't you? Okay. And oh my God! All oh, those characters being enslaved. Not yet. How dare you enslave my pe my people? <laughs> plushie. Of course I'm kidding. I'm just a plushie. Get over yourself. <laughs> So, uh, later? What are you doing after the con? I mean, can we hook up? No? How about you? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, what are you doing? Don't film me doing that! You go! Shiny. Oh. And a whole lot more. I'm doing fine to you. 
What? Just hanging in there. Ah. So you sold much or not? Yeah, air in there. What's the most popular thing people like to buy? <laughs> no idea. No idea. Uh, wow, this is pretty, isn't it? And there are a bunch of prettier ones over there. My God, great outfits! It's my dream come true! Now, if I can get all the bleach curls in those, I'd be a happy man! So there. Okay, so all these are flash drives? So, even the cars. Can you sh can you show me how the how they work? Sure. For the cars, if you always wanted to drive a Lamborghini, there's a little button at the bottom. You push it right on out. It comes out right there. You plug it in, and the headlights turn on. And it also comes with an extension cord. It's very nice, very cool. It's for use of memory. You can get a Porsche, a Lamborghini, a Mini, everything. It's very very cool. So what so what's the average memory size of these things? Average. Or 8 gigs. We have a couple in 16 gigs if you need a lot of memory. Yeah, I can. Yeah, this guy over here, he goes to school and he does like 3D stuff, so he needs stuff that can have that can handle a lot of memory. Okay, then if you want a 16 gig, let me show you this one. How cool is this? It looks like a pirate pocket watch right there. And oh, cool. Yeah, it is spring loaded. Press this button, pops right on out like a switch blade. How cool is that? Oh yeah, that is cool. Yep, to get it back in, you hold down the button and you push it in right there. And it is back in. That is, this one comes with 16 gigs, 8 gigs, 4 gigs, and I know Can I you interview her? So how much is the 16, <laughs> just out of curiosity? Oh, you guys the are working on it. The 16 gig is $45. Mm-hmm. So yeah, some of the exhibitors are half off. Oh, really? Remember, if you get it uh, anywhere it's else other than Anime Expo, it is double the price we are selling it today. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have about a, I have a four-day pass, so I may come back later. All right. Okay. Then we'll see you another day. Okay. Cone signing off. Thank you for your time. What are you doing? Ah, I told you not to catch, not to record me when I'm doing this. You're kind of creepy, you know that. What do you expect me to do? I'm a, I'm a disembodied spirit. I'm not even a real spirit. You're really a tic tac, you know that? Don't remind me. Ah, at least I can dream. Oh, that's cute. Oh my god, look at all the nerd t-shirts. I mean, uh, otaku, otaku, not nerds. Back home, back home. Deep down, they're all nerds. Oh goodness, why does this Pikachu get all the love? There's no love for me. I tell you, it's not fair. Get down, get down there. <laughs> get down, get down, get down. Maybe. Yeah. Hey, dude, hand me some money. It's like, uh, what's for? Well, for the dance, of course. I hate you. So, Rachel, what are you selling here? Oh, gosh. Mm. What am I selling? Yeah, what are you guys selling? Uh, we have backpacks and hats and tails. <laughs> and the mask? <laughs> well, this is a backpack. Today. It's a backpack, but you're using it as a mask. Yeah. Yeah. Is it hot? Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Okay. So I won't take any more of your time. Thank you. So we're going to get you after the after the con. Do you want to just hook up, get some drinks? At, I told you to turn that camera off when I'm doing this. Hi there, and there's video games. Yes, video games, what we all secretly love. So what can you tell us about Skullgirls? Well, Skullgirls is a 2D fighter game, hand-drawn art. It's in high definition. Uh, it's set for later this year. Uh, it's going to have around eight characters for launch, and it's going to have downloadable characters. It's available for XBLA and PSN. Um, it has dynamic lighting, and the game system is very similar to Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but with other tweaks added. So, for instance, we added an infinite combo detection system that detects when a player is doing the same combo over and over again, and you can break out of it. As well as, um, the music is being made by Yamame Michiru, who did the Castlevania series, and it's the first time she's ever worked with a Western developer. Oh, that is cool! So, what? So, basically, so the guy can't just cheese their way into victory. Yeah, they can't just trap someone in the corner and do the same thing over and over again. Ah, shit! Now I'm gonna lose for certain! <laughs> well, th thank you for your time! Thank you. Yeah. Turn that camera off. I don't want to be seen with these nerds. You know that. I know that. But Calm down. So these are, oh, so they're, food. yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I'm doing interviews right now. Okay. So, can you tell me about your product here? Sorry, well, <laughs> uh, we are the e-book store for Android smartphones. We have uh, plenty of, uh, you know, best manga from Japan. So are they translated or are they, or are they just raw? Uh, they are all translated in English. Really yes. Yeah. So I don't need to learn Japanese. So I don't need to learn kanji. You don't have to. Okay. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I barely know. You know, I've completely forgotten my yeah. my my other letters. So kanji is. I'm so not into kanji. Go me messai. Go me messai. Okay. So so how much do you charge for the service? The application So what titles are there? Uh, the titles of the manga. Yeah. It's like uh, Apple Seed. Maybe you know. The yeah, I know about Apple Seed. That's yeah. pretty much a classic. Yes, and uh, Nani, Joan, you mm -hmm. know, you know, Hibari Kun. Anything current? Anything from uh, Anything? You know, there's a. Uh, it's a new book. I mean, it's uh, actually uh, Doujin Shi manga. The uh, all the manga artists. Uh, gathered to make the magazine publish to help the uh, you know the Tohoku earthquake mm. in those affected area. Okay. So, yeah, it's a charity book. So it's all going to a good cause. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Now turn off that camera. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hello there, now here's some mech, so can someone explain what this thing does? Well, uh, the idea is that the machine is able to do uh, things that uh, you would have trouble in areas that you would have trouble reaching. So, um, it does similar functions to existing equipment, but it can do it in places that the equipment can't reach. So, 
So this is like a, like a real life version of a Gundam or something like that. Um, not so much a Gundam, more like a pat labor. A pat um, labor. Yeah. Exactly. So, so it's industrial. Yes. Um, the initial uh, markets will be industrial, and much like in Pat Labor, it will start as a commercial and an industrial machine, and then people will start having problems, uh, and so you will have police with these, and we'll have uh, riot control machines, and we'll have firefighting machines, um, forestry machines, we'll have um, some mining, uh, all kinds of stuff, and eventually we will get in, into defense. Okay, so you do, do you think that that uh, that a walking machine actually has actual military capabilities compared to that of a track? Yes. Um, things like a Bradley fighting vehicle can't follow the troops into the mountains of, 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 of Afghanistan. Uh, so you have problems where you're not able to get um, the heavy fire support uh, to follow your troops. And so with the machine, it can go places with the infantry that the existing uh, equipment can offer. Okay, how about, uh, pro uh, do you see any problems with, like, things like small arm fire or ro rocket patel grenades? Um, small arm fire, not so much. Uh, it's very easy to armor against that, um, including the glass. Um, there's, like, bulletproof glass is, is, is done, and so there's, you know, not a whole lot of issue there. Um, the existing uh, plexiglass of the machine is an eighth inch thick and it will stop a 22. Uh, we can double that up and it will stop anything short of like a magnum. Uh, if you put an inch on it, it will stop just about everything short of a high power rifle. So oh. that's not much of a problem. Uh, and then the rest of it, you put water on steel over the vital areas and that's it. Okay. How about the idea of like a cage around it, like for the rock and pill grenades? Um, RPGs are something of a problem. Um, there are some systems, however, that can mitigate that. Uh, if there are active RPG defense systems, um, you can do things like you can put active armor on there. Um, the machine is not designed to be armored, however. It's more like a helicopter than a tank. So there are, um, like a, there's like an anti-RPG um, micro-missile on the heat signature of an RPG being launched. It will fire a little missile. Um, it will lock the trajectory of the RPG based on its heat signature and then direct the missile to intercept it. Um, it's not good for short range, but it will stop an RPG from moving away. Um, elsewise, there's not a whole lot you can do. Okay, okay. So, just to, just that, just out of curiosity, what, are you a mech fan? Yes, I am a mech fan. What was your favorite mech growing up? Voltron. Voltron! Yeah, Voltron rules! Thank you for your time. Now, out.